Milady. And if you come right over here, we have my Katana collection. Mom, I'm on a date with my girlfriend right now. Yeah, she's very excited to meet you too. Okay, bye. So sorry about that. Ugh. Just got matched with some fatty. Pfft, maybe if you lose a hundred pounds, someone will actually sleep with you. Nope. Thank you, Fair Maiden, for agreeing to come to dinner with me. So, I guess the first topic would be, um, have you ever heard of a character called Naruto? Two hours later. So then, in episode 327, that's when Naruto finally figures out that- Wait, where, where are you going? Fair Maiden? Fair Maiden, where- We didn't even get to the best part yet, which is the original mangas. Dear Fairest Maiden, I just had to write you this letter, as you are the most beautiful female I have ever laid my eyes upon. I needed to ask if a stunning individual such as yourself would ever accompany me to a movie at the local theater. Yours always, Secret Admirer, XOXO. P.S. I left some of my musky scent upon this letter for your enjoyment, XO. Listen, bitch, you want to call me a neckbeard? Am I a neckbeard because I enjoy art? Because I can appreciate the value of an expertly crafted story, amazing gameplay, and a beautiful game world? Because I have experienced more than any normal human. I have saved the princess. I have defended the earth from reapers. I have traversed time, space, dimensions. I am the Dragonborn. I am the Witcher. I am the Lone Wanderer. I have challenged the Elite Four. And won. Does a neckbeard finish Dark Souls in one weekend without dying? Oh, on my first try, by the way. And that was after making a speech on transcendental consciousness to a college class. I have solved impossible math equations by accident. I read philosophy books for fun. Am I making myself clear, sweetie? Or are you a neuronormative goon who thinks football is the pinnacle of human creation? You probably couldn't even jump on a Goomba. My ancestors are smiling at me, fool. Can you say the same?